Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Goldie and this is the Lazy Ballerina Club. last week's video I tried on my entire leotard collection for you guys but the video ended up being way too long so here is part two of my leotard collection try on so the first leotard is this super simple what is this this is a Morella super super simple leotard I actually wore this um, as a uniform when I was doing RAD. Um, if you don't know what RAD is, you have to take an exam every single year and each level there's a new color. So this was my, I think I wore this for my solo seal exam. So it's super comfortable, super soft and the color is super, super nice. Nice and vibrant, classic leotard. You can't really go wrong with a classic cozy leotard. The next leotard is actually my very, very first Elevé that I ever ordered. I just remember being so excited when this order came in. And I still, this is still one of my favorites to this day. So it is a very simple purple Elevé. It has the like nylon for the base of the Leo and then it has this like pretty lavender mesh for the sleeves and it has a nice open back and this is another one that is super super comfortable and I love it. This next one is a Yumiko, another lavender Yumi. This is just the typical nylon material with a white trim and I love this leotard. I love the high neck. I think it's so flattering and I love showing off my collarbones and my long torso and this one has a super nice scoop low back which I'm a sucker for a low back. Okay, this one is the ultimate skinny leotard. I throw this on when I am feeling a little chunky or not as confident and I'm telling you this leotard always makes me feel good it always makes me have a good day it is an Eleve and it has this gorgeous burgundy body with the same matching mesh sleeves and I love a good long sleeve mesh and it clasps in the back it's very pretty and I don't know, it just like sucks me in in all the right places. And I think the color is beautiful, the cut is beautiful, and you really can't go wrong with this leotard. This is another Yumiko. It is very old, very, very old. It used to be much more lavender, but I don't know. It's It's been through some, some ish. So I still love it. This is another large sometimes I order size a size up in my leotards just so I have a little extra room or maybe it's the time of the month and I'm feeling a little bloated or I throw this on after lunch or whatever it just gives me a little bit of room to breathe and it just feels good a nice baggy Leo this is my last purple burgundy and it's one of my favorites. I feel like I've said that about all my leotards, but they're all my favorite. This is a very cute burgundy Leo. My friend actually had it made for me and I think it is so cute. It is a go-to of mine 
and the best part about this leotard is that it has like extra material on the legs so it doesn't like ride up your butt when you're dancing or like cut you in a weird way i think it's so flattering and it's so fun this pattern is different you don't really see it that often and then it has this like open back with this mesh super fun the first pink is kind of a random one <laughs> but i thought i'd show it anyway so it's this super old american apparel leotard and it has this like pretty floral print um it's super thin i feel like i've worn this once in rehearsal because it's a little risky <laughs> it has a super low neck and it's like completely backless this is kind of just like a random like when i'm feeling crazy i throw this on but whatever if you're not having fun with your leotards what are you doing okay this next one is actually from my friend as well and it is just so pretty it is this like baby pink leotard it has the same little like extra fabric for your butt and it's super thin i love this detail and it's just super simple high neck high back on both but it is just so elegant and so different and i always have a good class when i wear this leotard this one is for sure a princess leotard it is an elbe peach with peach velvet and just the way that this is cut it's so flattering it makes me feel so elegant and it has the velvet on the back as well but I'm telling you, this leotard is such a princess vibes, ballerina vibes leotard. I always wear it with pink tights and it just makes me feel beautiful. This is a classic Yumi. It's that square neck cut and it's same in the back. Nice little square neck. Um, this one is cute. I have nothing bad to say about it. It's definitely not like a go to every single day but yeah not much to say about it this is another um one that my friend had made for me this is another beautiful beautiful leotard it is pink on the top purple on the bottom with this like nude oh my gosh and it's like a haircut this mesh is so old but it's like this really soft nude mesh and it's just very flattering has like a lower back and i love it this one is so gorge it is this baby pink elevé with a baby pink mesh and it is the same collar as some of my previous ones in my first video with a long sleeve and this is another one that i use for auditions i think it's so classic it's so elegant and it's nice and thin which i love and there are just some leotards that you put on and it just like elevates like your entire <laughs> existence and this is for sure one of those leotards i absolutely love this one this is another yumiko it's the same style as that lavender leotard it is just like a what kind of color is this mauve is this mauve mauve color with grayish white trim again i think this used to be like an off pink like mauvey trim couldn't tell you but high neck lowish back it's ripping in the back because it is just so old oh, the good thing about yumiko's and elevays is that they last for a really really long time without getting torn up or getting like bent out of shape like i've had this leotard for probably like over 10 years and it like barely has any issues so 
I know Yumiko's and Elevays are expensive, but I'm telling you, I think they're worth it because we wear them every single day. So instead of buying like cheap ones, like more often, just invest in a few like essential key leotards for your wardrobe. That's my, my leotard tip for this video. So the last pink is actually, little fun fact, when I was dancing in Kansas City, the Eleve store is actually based in Kansas City, so I modeled for Eleve. I was able to go to the store and actually like see the leotards, and I don't think she would like me saying this on the internet, but just a little secret between us, there's a little oopsie bucket at the Elevay store that if it has like a rip in the leotard or there's like a weird thing in the leotard when the, it was being made, she throws them in the oopsie bucket and you can like go through them and take those leotards. You didn't hear it from me, but this was an oopsie that I got when I was in Kansas City, and I am obsessed with this leotard. First of all, you would have never known it was, it had any issues, but I love this like bubblegum pink with the pretty straps, and this is another one that always makes me feel good when I put it on. Just a simple high back scoop neck. I just think it's so fun, and I love that like bubblegum pink. Leo. On to the greens. Another Eleve. I know, I'm real original. This is a, what kind of green is this? Army green? I feel like it's called something, but I can't remember. It is this green with a little pinch um, and these like mesh sleeves. This is another just pretty simple leotard just to throw on with this crisscross back and it's super flattering. You really can't go wrong with this leotard and I think the color goes well with like my brown hair. And yeah, it's cute. This one is a Yumiko. Also another one that's probably with probably more than 10 years old, but I just can't get rid of any Yumikos. But it's this mint green Yumi with a zip in the front and open back with long sleeves and this white, can I get it out? White trim. And this one, <laughs> if I'm being honest, this is one that I went and got from the Yumiko store in New York. And when I got it 10 years ago, it was a little bit snug. Like, not a little, like I was like forcing myself into this leotard, but I was like, it's so pretty, I have to have it. And once I get back into rehearsal, I'm sure that I'm gonna lose weight or whatever I was thinking. And this will for sure fit me. To this day, this leotard, it's still snug on me. I don't know why. Maybe it's a small and I'm usually a medium, but I don't care. I just stuff myself into this leotard because it is just so pretty. Okay, this one is a new fave of mine. This is a mint leotard with like a high neck and a zip up the back with these pretty three-quarter sleeves and this has been my new audition leotard this has been like my 2019 2020 audition leotard because the color is so pretty the style is so elegant and flattering and I just feel like I stand out in this color which is always a good thing in an audition and it is from my beautiful friends leotard line ten yoka wear so shout out Naomi because this is one of my absolute favorite leotards. This one is so random. I don't think I've actually ever worn this in class, but one of the girls in the company I was at was retiring or leaving 
and she was going through her leotards and gave it gave a bunch to all of us girls so I snagged this one another like mint green with an open back what is this I don't even know what brand this is does it even say doesn't say cool but the only issue that I have with this leotard is just it's just really big so I haven't been able to wear it in class but I love the color so cute and for my last green one this is an Eleve it's this like same army green with like a nice dark green velvet with a little like cut out in the middle with the same like velvet trim. I think this one is so flattering. This is another one that I never like reach for, but when I do, I feel so good. Yeah, I love this one. Cute. Okay, bear with me, we're almost done. I'm trying to go faster than the last video because all I said in the last video was, this is gorge, this is gorge, this is gorge. So this is my last little pile. And there's some oranges, there's some nudes, there's some yellows. So this is like my last little random pile. But this orange one, this is an Eleve. It's a nice orange with like cute, super cute orange and white polka dots. This is so adorable with an open back. And this is actually a hand-me-down from my sweet friend that I danced with. Um, she, if you think I have a lot of leotards, this girl is like the queen of leotards. So when she came into the dressing room one morning with like bags of leotards that she was getting rid of, it was like Christmas, so. I love this one. And it's like perfectly worn in, so it's like super, super comfortable. So this one's super random, and I think I've only worn it once, but it's this deep brown leotard, velvet Leo with velvet sleeves, and this super nice detail in the center. I think it's like, has red in it. Um, this is one that the costume shop at the company that I was working at, they were, practicing these patterns for a costume that we we were performing in so they like made up a bunch of these leotards and like handed them out to all of us girls and i think it's so beautiful with this high neck but the only problem is that it's so thick that like i feel like i'm being suffocated when i wear it but maybe i'll do like a photo shoot in this one because it's just so beautiful cute this one it's not really brown or yellow whatever but i didn't know what other category to put it in this is such a pretty leotard it's this like nude pink leo with this super 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 cute mesh with flowers on it oh my god this leotard is so so cute um, I got it off of Etsy. I think this is a Lone Reed designs. All of her leotards are super nice quality. Um, and it's just so different. And I love having a unique leotard in class because obviously we all shop at Yumiko or Elevate and we all have the same exact leos. But when I found this leotard, I think I like bought it right on the spot. So this is like so cute so so cute and i'm saving the best for last because this leotard is a newer one i got it right before covid and this is another good audition leotard for company auditions or summer intensive auditions it's so flattering i love the color it's like this mustard yellow with a high back and these like really really dainty cap sleeves it's just so flattering it sucks you all in in the right places and this is an eleve and i absolutely love this one 
Um, and I don't have any other leotards in this color, so I think this is just so fun and different. So I have officially shown you my entire leotard collection, and I can't believe I made it to the other side because I have now realized I have an addiction, I have a problem, and I should be going through these and giving some away because I have way too many leotards. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, make sure you follow me on Instagram, read the Lazy Ballerina Club blog, and, and since there's a bunch of new people subscribed to this channel, Please leave a comment down below if you have any video ideas that you want to see on this channel, topics that you want to be talked about, literally anything. I am an open book. I am ready to make those videos and let's talk about all the things that no one talks about in ballet. So leave a comment down below. Let me know if you liked this video and I will see you soon. Bye guys.